Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, the number one place for all things beauty, hair, fashion, and lifestyle. It's your girl, Lady M here, and in today's video, I have another haul video to share with you. Um, this is mainly makeup items. Um, I did pick this stuff up literally right before the Rouge sale at Sephora. Um, I picked up stuff from Beautylish, Berghoff Goodman, and uh, Nordstrom's. So yeah, I am super excited to share with you guys what all I picked up, a little bit more on the luxury side. Um, so yeah, but before we hop into the video and me sharing what all I got with you guys, if you are not already subscribed, then please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. If you are not notified when new videos go up, then I need you to hit that notification bell because I don't want you to miss out on my awesome uploads, all right? All right, so while you do that, without any further ado, let us get into today's haul of video, shall we? All right. I don't think I have much skincare to share, but the one thing that I uh, wanted to try was from the brand Elemis. Um, and I have their Pro Collagen Energizing Marine Cleanser. Um, it invigorates, cleanses, revives. It has trio of, of acids, minerals. Um, it's a luxurious gel cleanser that help, helps to energize the skin for optimum performance, charged with hydrating Pandina Pavonkia, okay, minerals and an anti-aging trio of acids to leave skin feeling invigorated and looking beautifully revived. The deep cleansing action helps to reduce surface oils and impurities, rebalancing the skin for a youthful glow. So yeah, sign me up for anything that has glow or youthful glow or anything like that. And um, Elemis is a British skincare brand. They have really good products. Their cleansing balm is like one of my favorite cleansing balms. Like I literally rotate between that and pharmacy when it comes to cleansing balms. And then I think during my Sephora haul video, I picked up the NS Free cleansing balm. I haven't tried that one out yet because I have been trying to finish uh, my oil that I'm using right now. But anyway, this is what the packaging looks like. And you can literally see that it is a gel cleanser. And you know, Elemis, um, most of their products has some form of collagen in it. This is anti-aging obviously because of the collagen. It says that, uh, but defined by nature and led by science. So super excited to finally try this. I did um, try this before, I used it before, and I was super excited to get this. I picked this up during an event at Nordstrom's when all cleansers from Elemis was like 25% off. Cause these things ain't cheap, okay? So whatever discount I can get, I am going to be happy. All right, so from Beautylish, I picked up the Wayne Goss Veal Blush Palette. And the one that I picked was Bright Poppy. And so his stuff comes just like in this nice silver box. Um, so I have Sunny and then I have Golden Glow. So, never, I haven't tried anything from Rain, Wayne Goss. I was gonna pick up his bronzer because he has like a bronzo bronzer duo very similar to the patrick ta you know because he has the cream bronzer then he has the powder bronzer so i really i was going to pick that up just to test it out and i wanted another one he had two shades that i wanted i think the other one was like a deep brown if not i'm gonna put it right here in the cards but it was sold out so this is the one that i picked up and let's get a little swatch this is a lot of product y'all So it comes with a bronzer and a little highlight. And then that's not bronzer. Oh my God. It comes with this blush and then that nice highlight. So yeah, this is going to be 
doing things when it comes to summertime. Um, I love a nice like hot pink. This is more like a corally, I don't know, like a strawberry. The name of it is Bright Poppy. So I'm thinking that it, you know, it has that poppy color. So yeah, I am excited to try that out as well. Again, this stuff is not cheap. So um, I think I picked stuff up during their gift card event. So if you spend a hundred dollars, Basically for every hundred you spend, you got $20 in gift cards. And so I did pick up a couple things um, during that time. What else is up in here, y'all? Okay, so I don't think those came from there. All right, so here is a brand that is unique to, um, uh, what am I talking about? Oh, Beautylish. So this is the brand by Terry. Um, and you know, she has like this whole hyaluronic thing um, going on. So what I picked up was the by Terry hyaluronic tinted hydra powder. And it's just a basic setting powder. Um, and I picked up the shade 300 medium fair. And for a long time, she only had like this bright white color powder. So I was super excited when I realized that uh, she had like, or they had come out with other shades. And this is what the color looks like. So it kind of looks like, you know, like peachy, maybe it almost looks like cashew from the Fenty powder. And it just has the by Terry on here. Um, it's sealed cause I haven't used this yet. So I'm just waiting for a new, uh, a video that I can use some of these, you know, like this product with. And then I also picked up the concealer because I watched a video with um, Mel Thompson here on YouTube and she was talking about the concealers. Um, it's extra smoothing, hydration, radiance, buildable coverage. It's one of those sponge tip concealers. I don't know, that must be like the latest trend lately. Oh my gosh, this is huge. This is, um, the packaging, it has the name by Terry on there. And this is the Hyaluronic Hydra Concealer. And from what I had gathered in Mel Thompson's video that this is not a lot of coverage. Um, so you, you have to go in with a lot or something like that she was saying. So um, yeah, I picked up this and I picked it up in the shade 500 Medium Dark. So yeah, I still need to test that out. I haven't tried it yet, but I will be sure to film shortly to let you guys know what my thoughts are. This was a repurchase. I got this at Nordstrom's and this is the Tom Ford eye defining pen. Um, this is like one of my favorite um, eyeliners. I am not a gel liner kind of person. I love the liquid eyeliner. I think it's just easier to work with than going in with the gel. So if you haven't tried this, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It is um, <laughs> a bomb um, eyeliner. I had one and this is the one that I have. So it's a repurchase for me, but I didn't close it all the way. And so it like dried out. And I think it was there like for like a day or two before I realized. So I didn't even really get to use much of it. I can still use one side, but the other side is really dry. So I just picked it up when they were um, kind of on sale. Um, what else I got up in here? Oh, I picked up some YSL. This is the Zoe Kravitz um, collab with YSL. I think this is the second time that she's done a collab with YSL. Um, so I picked up two of the shades. Um, I picked up 150 Topanga Sunset and I picked up 144 Shory Ditch Walk. Um, and this, oh, the packaging y'all is everything. Look at the little shimmer thing on the bottom of the eye of the lipstick. Like so nice. Love, love, love. All right. So let's swatch. I don't know which one is this. It doesn't, oh, 150. So 150 is Topanga Sunset. 
and it's like a nice like I don't know how I would describe the color and then the other color is 114 <clears throat> and that's gonna be the second swatch so one is gonna be more like a terracotta kind of color and then the other one is um like that red I don't even know like a um like a red you know like a not vampy kind of red but like a like a diva if you know mac diva then that is like the similar shade to that so yeah i picked those up and it's like that creep man if you have not had a ysl lipstick they are divine okay and i also picked up a single shadow from them this is their sequin crush Ooh, this i think this is the blue i got the blue one. Oh my god look at that oh, this is amazing i'm gonna show y'all just swatching it on my hands look at that shadow oh my gosh single shadow y'all just full of pigment, okay? Love it. I haven't tried it yet. Um, <laughs> these have been sitting in the bag because I have been waiting to film with them because um, I you know, wanted to show you guys what I picked up. And those single shadows are the bomb. They have like this green one that I want and then they have like a bronze one. Oh my God, so pretty, so, so pretty. Um, what else did I get? Oh, this, I got this body butter. It's a Lancome body butter. It is intense moisturizing, restoring body balm. It's the Nutrix Royal Body. I have the hand cream. Um, I keep that in my car. And then I saw this and I was like, oh my God, I love, love, love the hand cream. When I say rich, it is rich and luxurious on the skin. I am so excited to dip into this beauty. Yes. All right. So I did get some Tom Ford quads. I got golden mink, mink and double indemnity, indemnity. If I'm even saying that word right. Oh yeah. And I forgot I had this translucent pressed powder from Laura Mercier. Um, that I wanted to try <clears throat> instead of using, you know, like the loose powder, you can still use the transparent powder and set the face because it doesn't have any color. So that's literally what it looks like. Just the regular translucent powder. And it does come with the little, um, puff that you keep in the bot, you know, the bottom. So you could totally use it to touch up your makeup on the go but I don't really do that because I like my makeup to stay. So whatever I need to do to get it to stay, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, and this is the free thing that they sent me <laughs> with the by Terry. It's like a mini powder and y'all see how white that is. Like she didn't get the memo about inclusivity and diversity in the beginning <laughs> when that first came out. Okay. So back to the quads, this one is golden mink. It's a little more on the cool tone side for sure, but it had like the most amazing, this color, this bronze color and this golden color. Oh my God. When swatched, it is divine. Okay. And I just did a video recently where I did a full face of Tom Ford and that was my first time using his eyeshadow quads. And I have bought some a while ago and never used them. Cause I mean, look at the, like, look at the packaging. Like, why do you want to like, come on. Anywho, you got to use your stash. So this one is double indemnity. And this one is definitely way more cool tone. Um, but very pretty as well. So can't wait to film with that looking forward to that as i try to put it back in the thing and in the meantime i'm trying to think what else i had oh my gosh um so back 
in, I don't know, this is probably in March, during some event that Nordstrom's had and Lancome had 20% off or something like that. And I got this honey cleansing, foaming cleansing makeup remover. Y'all, if you have never tried this, this is thebomb.com. So I finally got another one. Um, Cause yeah, why not? Then I picked up a primer from Dior. So, you know, Dior, I didn't even show you guys, but I have been using the setting spray. They came out with a setting spray. It's the Forever Perfect Fix Setting Set Refresh and Hydrate. So this is new. Um, I have been using that. Love, love it. And then they came out with a new primer. So this is the Forever Skin Veal Extreme Wear Moisturizing Primer. It has correct, it corrects the skin, it protects the skin and it illuminates the skin and it has sunscreen in it as well. So I haven't tried that yet, but I'm excited to try her out. And then another thing that I picked up is the Shiseido Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation. This one is oil-free and it has the broad spectrum SPF 30. I do have the first foundation, the self-synchronizing skin foundation. Love, love, love. When I say long wear, it like, because it like re refreshes or resets or whatever, it, synchronizing skin, whatever. Listen, you look like you just put your foundation on and you've had it on for like eight hours. Like it's beautiful. So when they came out with the radiant lifting, I was like, okay, let's try her out. Obviously, I haven't tried her yet, but it's on my list to try. Yep, so this is what she looks like. Do love Shiseido, so I'm excited to try that out. And they also came out with a primer too. And I did pick up the primer, but it's just a blurring primer. So like I said before in my Gucci foundation review, whatever, I said that if the foundation has a primer, then more than likely I always try to get the primer because, you know, I kind of feel like it's meant to go with the foundation. Not always, but most times. So I always try to try out all the products that goes with the product. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, so yeah, this was a mixture of Beautylish and Nordstrom's, I don't really have anything from Sephora left over that I did not already share with you guys. Uh, yeah, so the quads, I showed you guys the quads. Um, and you saw that I picked up the bronzer from Dior. And then I also have picked up the backstage powder, no powder. I think I included that in my Sephora haul video. So if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check that out. I just uploaded that maybe like a week ago or two weeks ago. I'm not even sure. Um, so be sure to go and check that out. Okay. All right, guys. I think that is all. Yes. Um, all right, guys. Thanks for joining me in today's mini haul video. Yes. I hope you guys enjoyed you know, me sharing with you guys what I have been picking, what I picked up recently. Oh, and I did pick up stuff from Danessa Myricks. I picked up stuff during the Rouge sale. Um, my order finally came in, so I'm gonna be getting ready to film with that. And that's gonna be part of my Black Excellent series. <laughs> yes. Um, so be sure to check that out. And I'll just share the haul stuff that I picked up during that video as well. All right, if you aren't subscribed, then I'm gonna need you to just go down and like hit that button, subscribe, and then hit that notification bell. That way you will be notified when new videos go up. All right, guys, I will catch you in the next one. Until then, just catch up on some of my old videos and then we'll see you soon. All right, guys, bye.